Hello, everybody. This is a M A M M A A. Yeah, M A M A. Yeah, whatever. It's wrestling. Just wrestling. Wow, Corey, way to be good at your job. Shut up. It is I, the great, undisputed, and perfect Corey Graves, along with the hardcore legend Mick Foley. Wow, way to inflate your ego there. Man, be quiet. So, the past couple episodes have been a bit crazy. You know, we've had issues with Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens. Now they're going to be in a three stages of hell match with Vengeance for the world title. So, things have been a bit definitely chaotic. Um, so, I guess we're going to see what happens now. Oh, I just got word that the Revival are in the ring, our, our tag champs. So, let's see what they got to say. For weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, ever since we came, we, you know, I guess got onto the roster. It's been nothing but chaos. It's just been a bunch of fighting, a bunch of backstage fighting, people going through tables, ladders, you know, control of power. It's so exhausting. But no one seems to really care that we are the tag team champions, which is a, and the fact that no one cares. It's a complete and utter travesty. Yeah, it is. I mean, I mean, when we beat Edge and Christian to win these belts, it was one of the highest viewed matches in the history of this show. Yeah. And the fact that crap like the Bella Twins versus Alexa and Mickey is the most watched match is absolutely disgusting. And that's not because that they're women. It's completely stupid. It's because the match was horrible. Yeah, it was terrible. It was legit negative five stars. But this, we're not talking about that match. We're talking about now. So now we have to defend these titles. And we're going to issue an open challenge. And I know there's this stigma about open challenges. But we're going to do it anyway. So whoever wants to show up. And fight the revival. Here's your chance. Well, I want to do it, fella. Hey, it's Seamus with a mohawk. Nice. You finally changed your look. And is he accompanied with? Yes, Cesaro with a new look as well. Of course, you two would show up. And where did Cesaro go? Right here. Oh, well, there goes Dash. And there goes Scott. And I guess we're going to have this match right now for the tag titles. So Cesaro and Sheamus, the bar. We're going to be going against Revival right now. So ring-a-ding-ding for the tag titles. Oh! Oh, just going right after Scott. And he just, just drops him. Just lifts him and drops him. And Cesaro looks like he's trying to go for a German. Clearly see there's some a bit of ring rust on Cesaro. Oh, definitely not there, but he nearly killed Scott. And just threw him right into the apron. And, oh, well that could have been better. Seamus, I guess this is tornado tag, I guess. I don't know. Oh, with a suplex. And slams him right down. The bar currently dominating so far. And just right to the back. Right to the back of that apron. <laughs> but, but, oh! Dash, you know, with a nice uh, counter there. Oh, just putting Seamus on those steps. And right onto the back of, right to the back of Seamus. Yes. Oh, Cesaro with an uppercut out of nowhere. And a German to dash. Hmm. Got a brilliant idea. When you mean brilliant, does brilliant mean dangerous? Because that's how it goes with you. No. Oh, that insane strength by Cesaro. German suplex both men. This so, oh, well, that could have gone better. Oh, well, he got, at least he got dashed with it. 
Oh, that was kind of a weak uppercut, to be honest. Cesaro, you're not doing too great in this match. Uh-oh. Is he on for that lackluster 619? I mean, at least it's better than when Chavo did it. Oh, and he hits it. Sort of. Oh, but Sheamus is now back up. Oh, he's in a perfect position, too. About to do that Irish curse backbreaker, and he hits it. That is just hard to look at. What's oh, Seamus about to do now? He's about to do something else. Oh, well, that was, I guess, just for show. And, and just slam. Just immediate slam. And knee to the face to dash. And he just right to, to the terminal and just threw him down again. And so Cesaro just gave him a, a weird looking 619. The bar the revival are not doing too hot in this match, I'm not gonna lie. Cesaro, he's about to fly, and he hits him. Hits him both. That what was that? That was that was the the worst kick I've ever seen. That was the nothing. That's they call it. Dash on. Sheamus just went full steam ahead, but he had too much momentum. It was an elbow drop from the top. Elbow drop from the top there. Cesaro now going after Dash. Oh. The, oh. Just threw him all the way over to the second ring. Oh. Well, he tried. Oh, come on, guys. This is this is Bush League. Oh, there you go. Oh, nice kick right to Cesaro. And a nice neck breaker, too. Even though Cesaro's head didn't even touch the ground, which really took all the air out of it. And he just... Just whipped him out of there. Scott's still down. So, you know, it's not exactly good news for the revival. At least not yet. Ugh. Ugh. It's like Seamus, he set him up for something. I'm trying to set him up for my signature move. And that would be the white noise fella. Well, there you go. He's got him set up. He's about to do it. But, but Scott, oh, Scott, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> he refuses to let that happen. And saves his partner from certain doom by kind of saving him, but not really. It was weird. <laughs> Enough a neck breaker to Seamus. And then, oh, nice kick to Seamus again. And the Revival trying to get them up. And they do it. Alright. Yeah, but Cesaro. Cesaro. Oh, he's just right into the back of Scott. Dash doesn't even realize it. Time for a swing. A Cesaro, sig a Cesaro special. I mean, you didn't invent the swing, but... Whatever, you made it popular, at least in modern times. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry about that. Six, seven, eight, nine. So, oh, so, oh, man. Oh. And that was just a, just a face buster right there. And just do them face first. Just going for, and he hits it. That was a stiff neck breaker. If I ever saw one. But Seamus, let's say Seamus got up. Oh, he broke Hicks dash. Broke Hicks dash right in the face. But oh, Scott, all oh, Scott's there. 
He put his face to the steel steps. What's about to do? Oh, jeez. Man, that's just terrible. All right. Scott. I'm sorry. I'm Scott. What am I saying? Dash, you all right? You're awake? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm woozy. What? We got to get him up for a shatter machine. Actually, before we can even do that. Oh, trying to make sure Cesaro is out too. All right, now we don't have to deal with him anymore. Dash, get up. Time to set him up for the ultimate finisher. All right, let's do it. All right, Dash, are you ready? Of course. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, Shatter Machine. Not the cleanest one in the world, but it's still, I guess it will do. They're both going on the cover on Seamus. One, two, three, and they win. The Revival win in a surprising fashion. How is it surprising? Everybody knew we would win. We're the Revival. Like, duh. Yeah. It, they were a bit of a challenge, but we still proved we are the best. You know, Seamus and Cesaro, they think they're the bar, but we are the real bar. We set the bar in the tag division. We set the bar in NXT. And we're going to set the bar here. Because that's what we do. So this is Scott, and this is Dash. And we are the Revival. And we are out.